Okay, so I know we haven't posted a video in a while, but it's Florida and it's been pouring every day for like the last three weeks. So um, I went ahead and ordered a, a blowfish tow hook for the Mustang. Um, I know you guys don't know anything about this yet, but this is one of my babies. The other one is behind us, all torn apart. Um, this is my used to be my daily driver. Now it's an auto autocross car and my weekend toy. So um, eventually, you guys will see the car trailer that we did redid before we started doing all this YouTube stuff. Um, but the goal was to get a tow hook on this car so I can actually pull it up on the trailer because it it is extremely difficult to try and drive this car up on the trailer by yourself. So we're going to show you how to remove the front bumper on the 2010 through 12 Mustangs as well as install the Blowfish tow hook. Alright, so in order to take the front bumper off the car, because the tow hook actually mounts to the um, push bumper, or the secondary bumper behind the bumper cover, um, so we actually have to lift the car off the ground, pop the hood uh, in order to access all of the nuts and bolts, so we're going to do that now. All right, so next uh, next step, we have to take off these two um, screws here. Same on the other side. Um, and then there's a bunch underneath that we'll get to in a minute. It's a lot easier when you actually turn the wheel. Okay, so basically it's like a clamp type thing. It's kind of hard to explain while holding, but basically this will go over um, the actual bumper like this, and then it'll slide on like that, and these go down to hold it, obviously, like that, and then the tow hook bolts like that. And it should clear the uh, front underneath the bumper. I don't have to trim anything. Okay, so first we're gonna put this up here. This fits kind of flush, as you can probably see. Um, fits like this. This bottom one fits under here like that. Yeah. 
Okay, so now that these these bolts are on all four, you just tighten them up and then you can run the actual back bolts in there real quick. All right, so next thing we gotta do, we gotta reinstall these. Um, Cause we couldn't leave them on the first time because these bumps don't clear the lip here. So those just slide on real easily and then snap into place. Alright, so with those on, they'll allow this plate to go up here, and it mounts up this way. So, these are a uh, 14 millimeter. You can get this. So those will go just like that through the hole here. And ta-da! Now the cool thing about this part is too, is that there's actually another hole slot here. So you can actually move this tow hook out if you need to, or just completely take it off. Um, you'll actually be able to access through this, through the, action, the, uh, the hole in the bumper as well, which I really like. I like the fact that you don't have to actually do any type of welding or cutting of anything. Because the bumper cover... It's right over this. All right, let's see if this bumper clears. some trimming. Looks like it. Twenty-four hours later. So obviously this is a new day. It's getting pretty dark the night we're fishing out, finishing up the tow hook. Um, the bugs are getting pretty bad and the lighting looks kind of crappy so um, I don't know how much of the actual video we're going to show but overall the install went pretty well. Um, I wasn't expecting to have to cut anything on the bumper but it turns out I had to cut a little bit out um, with the California Special lower valence. Um, to make some clearance for the tow hook itself, which I'll show you in a second. So here's the end result. The car's pretty dirty still. I haven't washed it in a while. But as you can see, I kind of had to cut a little bit of the bumper. Um, nothing too bad. But the good thing, I like that you can actually remove the pin here and pull this off if you need to. But And you can access all the bolts. But I had to cut like a little bit out here. Nothing too bad but overall pleased with the result.